Hello everyone and welcome back to Splash. Today we're going to be talking about 5 90 day fiancé couples who are still together. Do you want to win the new iPhone 11 Pro? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right back into the video. Number 5 Melanie Bowers and Devar Walters Before showing up for season 3, Devar Walters and Melanie Bowers met while she was on vacation in Jamaica. Melanie's family was a bit concerned that Devar would use Melanie to come to America and then leave her once he had enough money for his family back home. Melanie's parents got a pretty big concern about her daughter Melanie dating someone from Jamaica, which is me. So getting to know them more and they get to know me is was pretty big for me. But so far, love has prevailed between the couple. Melanie believed in Devar and his compassion and love for her son Hunter helped solidify her decision to marry Devar. Devar and Melanie are still happily together and even appeared on 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After Season 1. Devar and Melanie had a daughter Ava in November 2017. Devar is a proud dad and husband, constantly posting pictures of Ava and of Melanie. It seems like all is well and the relationship is healthy. Number 4 Alan Cox and Kirillam Cox Alan Cox met Kirillam on a Mormon mission trip in Brazil. Well, it isn't the strangest of scenarios. During the first season of the show, Kirillam and Alan made a vow to stay virgins until marriage, meaning a lot of their 90 day fiance tension was trying to stay true to their beliefs. How you'll be wearing your dress, right? Hmm. How tall are your heels? Have you walked around the in them a lot? No, a lot. Kirillam also tried modeling, but Alan became a bit uncomfortable with the idea. In September 2013, they were married in a Mormon temple while Kirillam's family streamed the whole event from Brazil. It was an emotional moment for everyone. Six years later and the couple is still very much happily married. I'm living here in the US for about three years now and we are married for the same time. About three years. About three years now. In 2017, Alan and Kirillam had their first child, Liam Jordan da Costa Cox. Kirillam fully embraced her mother and wife role often posting pictures on social media with Alan and Liam. The couple show revealed more from their relationship and family on 90 Day Fiance. What now? Number 3 Russ and Paola Mayfield Russ Mayfield met future wife Paola while working in Colombia. Immediately the romance turned passionate thanks to their undeniable chemistry. But the young couple faced many problems upon moving back to Russ's home state of Oklahoma. It hasn't been easy. Living in Oklahoma City is a challenge. I'm homesick most of the time. He'd worried about the possibility of losing his job in order to get married, which he did. Not to mention the fact that Paola's personality seemed too big for Russ's small town. You've untied yourself. Was this your decision or the photographer telling you to do this or what? But they found ways to work things out. Eventually Russ and Paola moved to Miami where she could pursue a modeling career. All still appears to be well between the both of them. Paola and Russ appeared just as happy as ever when updating fans on 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After and they had their first child Axel in January of 2019. Number 2 Lauren and Alexi Brovarnik Alexi and Lauren only spent 10 days together in Israel before he proposed to her. It was almost a case of love at first sight. When Lauren moved back in with her parents in order to save money for their marriage, though the couple entered into a more difficult type of situation. I say the floor to Alex is coming out because we're just bickering so much at home in America that I didn't want it to come to Israel. Like That was the point to leave it all behind. They also faced some turmoil when Lauren tried encouraging Alexi to take up modeling, a career path he didn't want to pursue. But they found a solution that suited everyone. The couple now lives in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and Alexi and Lauren have appeared on 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After to share their follow up stories. In October 2019, they announced that they are expecting their first child. Number 1 Evelyn Cormier and David Vasquez Zermino David Vasquez Zermino and Evelyn Cormier met after David discovered Evelyn's band on Facebook and sent her a message. David was 27 and from Spain at the time while Evelyn was 18 and was from a small New Hampshire town of Claremont. During 90 Day Fiance Season 5, the couple clashed over differences in maturity, wedding planning, and their respective beliefs about living in a small town versus moving to a big city. The big stress and argument right now is about the groomsmen and them not wanting to spend the extra hundred dollars on a tuxedo. I think it's ridiculous. Because of their Christian values, they agreed to stay virgins until marriage. These things were important to the couple. David and Evelyn overcame their issues and wed in October of 2017. 
Two years later, they are still a happy couple. Fans of the couple witnessed David supporting Evelyn all through her American Idol journey. She advanced to the top 14 on the reality hit, but didn't make the top 10 with the other American Idol season 17 finalists. Evelyn is still recording and producing music though, and she and David are very much still enjoying being young and in love. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We'll be giving away the brand new iPhone 11 Pro, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it. Also, while you are here, go ahead and check out one of the other two videos on your screen.